So, what's new in Excel 2007? Well, the first thing that you will notice when you open Excel 2007 for the first time is a new feature that stretches across the top of your screen. This is called the ribbon. Then you might also notice the absence of the menu bar and begin to feel overwhelmed and lost. Fear not, the ribbon replaces the menu bar and it houses most of the commands and options that were available in previous releases of Excel through the menu bar. After the initial shock wears off and you begin to get acclimated to the new interface, you will find that the ribbon is a very nice and extremely useful new tool for quickly and efficiently using Excel. We will cover more about the ribbon throughout this course. Microsoft has also added more rows and columns to each and every worksheet in Microsoft Excel. An Excel worksheet has now been increased to 1,048,576 rows by 16,384 columns. Other worksheet and workbook specification and limits have been increased too. For a full list of these new specification and limits, you can go to Microsoft's new help file. You can get more information in regards to Excel specification and limits. Notice that the first topic here is worksheet and workbook specification and limits. You can see that there are quite a few details and information that's available to you through this help file topic. I'll go ahead and come back here to my worksheet. You can also apply rich conditional formatting to data in a worksheet. This means being able to apply formatting to cells that helps to visually make data stand out so that you can better manage it. You can apply rich conditional formatting through the rich conditional formatting command. Up here under your styles menu, you'll find conditional formatting. And here I can go ahead and cause my data to visually stand out based on formatting that I apply to the cell. Now this formatting is based on the information in the cell and can change based on the data that is supplied in the worksheet. Very nice feature, very dramatic in the way it really causes information to stand out graphically, communicating the message of the data very clearly through the formatting. We will cover more about conditional formatting later in this course. Another nice feature that has been added to Excel 2007 is the use of document themes. A document theme is a set of colors, fonts, and other formatting options that give your worksheet a professional design. Notice that here I have a style that's been applied to my table that you're seeing here within my worksheet. And if I come to my page layout tab and my themes group, notice I have a themes command. And when I select that, I can can change what my document theme is for my entire workbook. Notice that by simply hovering my mouse over the various themes, I can cause my worksheet to reflect that set of colors, design, and fonts. When I find the one that I like, I simply select it and it will be applied to my entire workbook. Formula writing has never been easier than it is now in Excel 2007. Now the formula bar is resizable. You can resize it in both its width as well as its height. Also, if you are working on a very long formula, the formula bar resizes to display the entire formula automatically. Microsoft also implemented a formula autocomplete function that helps you to quickly write the proper formula syntax as you develop your formulas. Notice that I'll go ahead and start a formula here and as soon as I type in the first letter of a function I get a drop down menu that allows me to choose the exact function that I might be looking for. So let's say that I am looking for the sum function. I'll find it and double click it and it's automatically added to my formula bar as well as underneath you have a kind of hint area that displays what the function is requesting for its arguments within the function. This is a very nice feature for the development of functions and formulas. I'll go ahead and delete what I have and enter that. 
Now also, Excel 2007 offers a new view to help with printing your worksheets. This view is called the Page Layout View, and you'll find it down here at the very bottom of your worksheet area. In earlier versions of Excel, you had the Normal View and the Page Break Preview. Now with the new Page Layout View, you can see exactly how the document will look when it is printed. This includes your page headers and footers, let me scroll down to view the footers, as well as your page margins are clearly indicated in the page layout view. You will avoid having to print a document multiple times, as well as eliminate truncated data that might appear in printouts because you can see now exactly how your document will look as you print. Let's go ahead and move on to the next movie to learn more about the other new features that are available now in Excel.